Hi everybody, Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director, part eight of our eight part basic training tutorial series. We've finished our movie, right? It's time to output our movie. And this is another place where Power Director really excels in terms of the number of features available. One thing to note, very important, is that your options that are available for outputting a movie are based on your aspect ratio. So I've got a 16 by nine, that's a pretty standard aspect ratio. It's the aspect ratio for video you shoot on a camcorder or your phone if your phone is held sideways. That's gonna give me the most options. But if you were to select one of the other aspect ratios, you would have other options available than what I'm going to show you. So let's just stick with the basics here and you can explore on your own for your particular needs. So to get to the output options, you go up to the produce button at the top of the screen, click on that and that opens the produce area. A wealth of options here. There are options for outputting a 3D movie if you happen to be working in 3D or not in this case. For device, if you want to output your movie for a phone or an Apple device or Sony PlayStation or Microsoft Xbox or even back to your camera, there are options here, a variety of resolutions. You want to go online, you can upload directly to YouTube, to Dailymotion, to Vimeo, to Nico Nico, and the program will automatically generate from your video and you choose the resolution here, generate from your video a file that's optimized for online viewing and load it right up there for you directly from the program. But let's stick with standard 2D just now. And here in standard 2D, you can see the universal language for video right now, which is H.264 AVC. That's an MP4. Although you also have the option of saving it as an M2TS, which is a slightly more sophisticated MP4. It's the video you get from an AVC HD camcorder. But let's just keep it at MP4, and you can see you have a number of options all the way from standard resolution to medium high resolution to high definition to even 4K. H.265 is a slightly more advanced codec. It also outputs an MP4, but with a slightly higher quality at a slightly smaller file size. There's Windows Media, there's XAVCS. This is another type of MP4, the XAVCS. It's the video you get when you're working with a 4K video from a camcorder, from a GoPro or something. Quite often it's in the form of an XAVCS, but it's basically an MP4. You've got older formats like MPEG-2 and AVI, and you can even output an image sequence for creating special effects frame by frame, or just put, output the audio only. There also is built into the program a very advanced tool for creating Blu-ray discs and DVDs. So one of the rooms that's in the editing area is a room for creating chapters or for creating subtitles also for your DVDs and Blu-ray discs. If you go over here to create disc and click on menu preferences, you'll see a huge library of really beautiful DVD and Blu-ray disc menu templates. A great many of these have animation, have audio, in other words, background music playing. They're very, very cool. They're very, very nice. But if they're not enough for you, look what we got here. Click on download content, take it to the director zone. You can see templates that other people have created for DVD and Blu-ray disc menus. Really, you could make DVDs your whole life and never use the same template twice. Some of these you can modify, a great many of them you can't. So if you were to select Broadway, you can see the modification option is not available but you can create your own menu or modify an existing one. This is one I, I created, so it's modifiable by clicking the modify button and that gets you into a menu creator here, the menu designer, where you have options for creating your own custom animated menu with navigation buttons. There are a whole bunch of really powerful tools here for creating something uniquely yours. So this program is really just feature packed. I, to find this all on a consumer program is pretty remarkable, but uh, just for creating a, a video, creating a movie, taking it through, adding special effects, adding music, adding titles, uh, keyframing animations, whatever you want, it's in here in this program. It is just feature, feature packed with new features every generation.
If you got any questions about the program, come on over to moviepicks.com. Check in on our free community forum. Ask a question. We'll get you an answer as soon as possible. Want to know everything about the program? Check out the moviepicks.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director. A brand new one for this current version of the program is available on amazon.com. I'm Steve Rizzi. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care. H265 is a slightly more advanced codec. H265 is a slightly more advanced codec. H265 is a slightly more advanced codec.